Welcome to Sculpture Studios. One of those projects here with a real purpose, a meaning, and spreading the word about something hard-hitting that affects a surprising amount of people. We've been contacted in regards to MPN, which stands for Myelo Proliferative Neoplasm, a form of blood cancer originating in the bone marrow. The symptoms for this vary greatly, with the top 10 often being misdiagnosed as simply something age or wear and tear related, or another disease entirely, often missing the true cause. The aim for this project is to spread awareness of MPN and these 10 most common symptoms. We're going to be creating a lineup of numbers which will be decorated by five recognised artists from different areas around the UK. Our clients from a pharmaceutical and a medical group have inquired as to whether these sculptures can be artworked here at our studio. We're going to invite the artists and a film crew to spend a few days here, documenting the process and allowing the artists to come together and bring all of their creations to life in the same space. The numbers are going to stand between 4 and 5 foot high, mounted on concrete bases for weight and stability. QR codes are going to be placed on and alongside each number, whereby the general public can virtually pull up more information about the disease and the symptoms on their mobile devices. The numbers are going to be cut and carved from polystyrene and will then give each form a blanket coating of glass fibre. We'll then work up the entire surface to a good finish and prime paint ready to receive the designs. Now, immediately, right off the bat here, I see that you're eyeing up our secretly sourced sticky back tinfoil. Drop us an email if you're curious, but for now, just watch in awe as we protect the polystyrene surface from the resin with this shiny goodness. As you can see in the background from the Lincoln Castle Dragon and the giant Bic Easy Reach Lighter, this isn't the only project that we have on in the studio at the moment. We choose our projects and plan our timelines carefully so that we can accommodate as much as possible whilst being able to give everything our full attention and meet all of our clients' deadlines. The Lincoln Dragon and the Giant Lighter are two jobs that we're aiming to have finished and collected from the studio so that we can prepare the space properly later down the line for the artists and film crew. The blanket coat of glass fibre and resin that we're applying on top of all of the numbers needs to be both durable as well as suitably flat to act as a canvas to apply the artwork onto. With this in mind, when we're initially laying the glass fibre on top, we're trying to leave this as neat as possible, so that they're as easy to clean up as we can make them. The majority of the shape is having the polystyrene left inside, both for a little extra strength, and so that the numbers don't have that empty hollow sound. The bottom sections of polystyrene are being removed to make room for metal L-shaped brackets to be installed, and this is so they can be mounted and bolted down onto the concrete bases. Most of the numbers are relatively straightforward, cut using hot wires, sanded down with rounded corners, but for numbers 1 and 7, we're having it look as though number 1 has a knot tied in the centre, like a knotted up feeling or cramping in the stomach, and the number 7 to look as though it's a knee joint. These will take a little more carving with nail and wire brushes before they're sanded down and applied with the same sticky back foil.
We're going over with a first layer of a resin flow coat. This initial coating floods the surface to help remove the majority of that fiberglass matte texture. This will then be sanded down and another coat applied with the process repeated until we're happy with the finish. It's been a rudimentary working theory here at the studio that the best way to cure resin faster is to activate a flossing technique, and so that's exactly the approach that we're taking for this project. I think Kevin may need to calm down though. With the numbers going through their last round of cleaning up, we're finishing these with a 2K car body white primer. Beginning work on the concrete bases, what we're going to be doing is creating a master pattern and a glass fibre production mould. This way concrete can be poured to replicate identical casts for each number. We're adding spaces inside the mould so that the bases are created with room underneath for a forklift to gain access. Each concrete base will then be assigned to a number, whereby the individual bracket placements will be marked out for holes to be drilled into the top. We've built the fiberglass up here in significantly more layers than the numbers themselves, as it's important that this mould is strong and durable. Not only does it need to hold a volume of concrete poured inside, but will need to withstand the manipulation of creating 11 casts, as there'll be two casts for the numbers 1 and 0 for the number 10. Extra metal work is being created to have stands with QR codes alongside each number. These are being made up of plates that are held in place underneath the concrete with unique QR codes placed at the top of each stand with links to each of the symptoms. With the physical build now coming to completion and the additional projects gradually vacating from the studio, we've spent the weekend clearing the space ready for the artists, the clients and the film crew to arrive. The studio is going to be used over the course of three days. The artists can map out their designs with space outside available to spray base layers and graffiti style artwork and the studio floor dedicated for hands-on painting and for the filming crew to capture the process. Over the space of the next couple of days, you'll see not only the work progressing, but the studio gradually filling up with more and more crew and filming equipment, as interviews intermittently took place with both the artists and Aiden to help create the official MPN10 video online. The featured artists that are going to be adding their own personal styles and designs to the numbers are Edinburgh-based Ross McRae on numbers 1 and 6, Paul Curtis from Liverpool on numbers 2 and 4, 
Oscar with a K from Manchester on numbers 3 and 5, London's Frankie Strand on numbers 7 and 9, and Spike Clark from the West Country in Bristol on numbers 8 and 10. Each number has been assigned a particular symptom, and it was a pleasure seeing all of the artists expressing these themes through their artwork in their own ways. One of the things we love most about our work here at the studio is the sheer diversity. The size, the number of pieces, the nature of the objects themselves, the locations our sculptures are going to, the reasons, the causes, the charities or purposes behind the projects, and the people we meet and collaborate with along the way. Every job is always a new learning curve, even after over 35 years in business. This is the kind of project where it really feels like we get paid twice for, as some things are appreciated outside for years like theme park work, or projects like these where it's actively being used for something very particular. It's also the kind of project that takes on many forms. Our side of the job was very much more constructional in this case, aside from the more sculptural carving of numbers 1 and 7. But the artistic side is taking place right here, both during the three days in the studio for the artists, as well as the video creation for all of you guys to see and enjoy at home. The project also has a real cause, promoting awareness of MPN and ways in which you might recognise it. We've always thought that 3D advertising is a great way to engage with the public, particularly pieces that people can view from all angles, could be moved from location to location, and interactive pieces that encourage people to engage and want to know more. Once all of the artwork is complete, we give everything a coating of a 2K lacquer to lock everything down and protect it from the elements of going outside. The only things left to do here in the studio 
are add the finishing touches to the concrete bases and add all of the QR code information onto the stands and onto the numbers themselves. The first point of call for these sculptures is outside a Westfield shopping centre here in the UK, an ideal spot for heavy footfall amongst the general public. We'd like to thank our clients Sam, Mimi, Georgia and the rest of their teams from Havas Life Medicom and respective parties for coming to us with the project. Hopefully this will inspire more 3D sculptural ideas for the future, all leaning towards engagement, understanding and awareness to the general public. Thank you very much also to the fantastic artists for coming down to our studio, bringing your ideas to life on our 3D canvases and being an absolute pleasure to work with throughout. I'm leaving links to all of the artists' Instagrams in the YouTube description below, as well as links to the official MPN10 webpage. If you'd like to find out anything more about the project and the medical side behind it, be sure to check out the links below. We always love hearing what you guys think of our projects and our channel, so please feel free to drop a comment and by all means subscribe and give us a follow on social media. A big thank you to all of our patrons who support our projects and the creation of our videos. We love having you guys on board. And if you'd like to support our family-run studio, you can find our Patreon details below. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated. From all of us here at Sculpture Studios, thank you very much for watching.